Hello, my name is Robin Mitchell and welcome to EFM, Electronics for Makers, where the numbers don't matter and we don't even bother with the maths. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at the magical world of capacitors and how to read their values. Now, there are a wide range of capacitors you can look at. You've got electrolytics, you've got ceramics, you've got surface mounts. They all come in different packages, sizes, shapes, weights, and just about anything you can think of. In actual fact, you yourself are or is a capacitor between two different points. So you could take, for example, the ground and the air. You're a dielectric between two, so you do have some kind of capacitance. But in this video, we're only going to be looking at the ceramic capacitor. And to be even more specific, the orangey type uh, uh, through hole ceramic capacitors that you tend to use in the majority of maker projects. Now, of course, there are SMDs and electrolytics, but because SMDs are a little complex and almost never used in maker projects and the electrolytics are quite obvious in how to read their values, the ceramic capacitor of the orange type is the most bizarre. So how do we read these? Let's find out. So most ceramic capacitors are of the through hole type that are, that are used in the maker field. And, and the reason why that is, is because they are cheap, plentiful and easy to use and work beautifully in breadboards. Now, now these capacitors always have the three digits unless it's in the individual uh, picofarad values, in which case it has the two or one digits, as we'll see in a second. But most have three digits. And one of the most common ones is the 100 nanofarad capacitor with the code 104. If we now look at a 10 nanofarad capacitor, it has 103. And if we look at a 1 nanofarad capacitor, it has 102. Now, if you can see that there's a pattern emerging here, the pattern is in the last digit here. Let's do some little pretty arrows. So we can see that the first two digits refer to its numeric value, if that kind of makes sense, its number. Let's call it number. So the first and the second digit are ma make up the number. Okay, so in the case of 104, it's 10. The third digit is a bit more complicated and is more of a multiplier, but it multiplies from a base value and the base value is uh, one picofarad. Now this number tells you how many zeros to multiply this thing by. You can see here I quickly wrote, I was about to write a zero, but you don't actually get a zero. So if the number was one, then you're gonna multiply it by 10 picofarads. If the number is two, you multiply it by 100 picofarads. If the number is three, you multiply it by 1000 picofarads. And if the number is four, you multiply it by 10 picofarads. So this number represents the number of zeros we have. Now, obviously you wouldn't have a zero because that would just be a one, but when you get less than uh, the sort of 100 picofarads, that's when the number becomes the number itself. So for example, if you have a capacitor with something like four and seven, that is just 47 picofarads. But sometimes the picofarad range of capacitors will also have a little black tipped ceramic disc. And that can be quite useful to identify the values that are quite small. So all in all, we have three values, X, Y, and Z, if it's bigger than 100 picofarads. The X, Y is the numeric value, and Z here, I can't even draw the little bracket, and Z is the multiplier, or otherwise known as the number of tens if that makes sense. So for example, if you've got 103, then you're doing 10 multiplied by three. So it's one, one, two, three picofarads. So what you get is 10 nanofarads. So let's take a few quick examples so we can see how this works. If we had two, two, one, what we have is 22 multiplied by 10. So it would be a 
2-2-0 picofarad capacitor. If this was 2-2-3, then it would be 22 multiplied by, it looks like a divide, let's just box those. It'd be 22 times by 1, 2, 3. So it'd be 22,000 picofarads, otherwise known as 22 nanofarads. If it was, four, uh, say, 473, it would be 47 multiplied by 1, 2, 3, which is equal to 47,000 picofarads, which equals 40. Seven nanofarads. Now there is an inch, there, there are a few values that you won't actually find. Um, now I'm not talking about the numeric, but I'm talking about the combination of the whole thing. So for example, you would never have a capacitor, for example, uh, something like 013. That is something you'll never get. But if you do calculate this, you would find it to be 01. So it would be one multiplied by one, two, three which is equal to 1,000 picofarad, which is equal to one nanofarad. But what you would get instead is that number will go down one and you get a 1002 instead of 013. And that is all there is to ceramic capacitor values. Well, that's all we have time for today in this quick episode for EFM. Thank you for watching and see you next time.